You're watching West Coast Living. We're in Wales, in Pembrokeshire, on the coastal path, and we're about to go and explore Saunders Foot. Welcome back guys, in this episode we're taking you to a stunning and popular part of the Welsh coast in the United Kingdom, Saundersfoot. We are starting today just outside of Saundersfoot on a quiet Monkstone Beach and we will explore here and the rest of the village to see what makes it such a great place. From its golden sandy shores to its stunning coastal view, Saundersfoot is a popular destination regardless of the time of year, so let's get to it. Welcome on the Monkston Beach. It's early morning and we just arrived here. The beach isn't actually at its biggest now, it's nearly at high tide, so there's not long to go and most of this will be gone. But what we wanted to do is we want to show you this, this location because it's a stunning and quiet location. That particularly, it's very useful if you want to escape the, uh, the hustle and bustle of Tembe and Saundersfoot Main Beach, particularly in season. We're now into October, it's a Saturday, and as you can see, We've pretty much got the beach to ourselves. There's a, there's another, there's a group of people down there with some dogs, but that's it. This is not your typical beach. It's not easy to get to. There's a, there's a walk where you need to come down from a farm where there's a very limited amount of parking, and you need to come down quite a steep path and to get on the beach itself. But once you're on the beach, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. You've got very compact golden, uh, golden soft sands. You've got all these interesting rocks and features and it's surrounded by beautiful cliffs it's not like it's not really like an activity beach but it's a very good place to come relax bring your dogs just be in a, in a tranquil and peaceful place Just jumped in the car and we're gonna pop over to Saunders Spot and show you the different areas that are there. Okay guys, we've now arrived at the southernmost part of Saunders Spot Beach. It is an amazing place which and it's worth it to come, visit and explore. Right guys, we're into Saunders Foot and we've come straight to the harbour. It's right next to the main beach and it's also next to the town. So it's a very close proximity. 
behind us is all the boats so if you're into these it's well worth a look and if you're going to go out do any excursions on boats or fishing trips this is where you're going to go from uh, just a little bit of nugget of information here from an historical point of view uh, the area before tourism used to mine a lot of coal so this used to be a port to ferry coal out of the area which was produced locally The town is right next to the beach and definitely is the heart of this area. It's plenty of independent, interesting and unique shops and also have loads of pubs and restaurants. Right guys, although the beach is relatively quiet in comparison to what it can be, um, it's still a busy and popular beach outside of season. The main difference is, is when, we're in, when we're out of season, um, the people on here are predominantly dog owners and families with dogs. In season, it's a very different situation. Firstly, in season, dogs are not allowed on this part of the beach. And secondly, it will be absolutely packed on here. So there'll be a lot of families, young kiddies, and a lot more going on in and out of the water. We've just got off the beach at the north end of Saunders Foot at Coppet Hall Beach and we're just about to go into the tunnels. Let's go. Man's bridge, so it's time to get a pint, don't you think? Well deserved. Let's go. <laughs> Last stop for the day, a quick pint in the pub. Uh, we each wanted just to summarize what we enjoyed most today. So, Gabby, what did you like most about the trip today? I liked the climbing and going through the tunnel. Great. What about you, Paulina? I think for me, the winner is the beach, the Monkstone Beach. The first beach, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would agree with Paulina Monkstone Beach and I really liked as well with what Gabby liked when we come back uh, through the tunnel and over to Wiseman's Bridge because there was a, a, a lot of really interesting sights and, and uh, beautiful things to experience. Okay, so that's it from us today, guys. Um, don't forget to do the usual. Like, subscribe, share to your friends, ring the bell and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>